So what are the practical tips that you can use, okay? So you can use herbs. So there are a lot of herbs. Marami pong herbs that has shown in um, research and that have antiviral, that have <clears throat> antiviral properties. Correct. And one of them is garlic. So Correct. garlic, amazing garlic. <laughs> Yun lang, if you're gonna use <clears throat> garlic, again, if you're gonna use herbs for medicinal purposes, you have to use them five to seven times higher than the normal. Okay, what is the normal? For me, ah, ang normal sa akin ho is one, um, isang dakot. Okay, after that isang dakot, so five to seven times, you have to drink them higher. Okay, so garlic is one of the best antiviral uh, herbs that are available out there. Ginger. Yeah. Which, by the way, mm -hmm. real quick, garlic has been scientifically demonstrated uh, in studies uh, to be significantly beneficial against uh, bacteria as far as, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, the viruses are concerned. So bacteria, that, that virus, is, that anti is That is beyond, beyond question. Mm -hmm. Anybody that wants to argue with that point... Mm -hmm. Bring it. Yes. Yeah. So, garlic is one of the best antiviral. So, inumin nyo lang mo yan. O, kainin nyo. That's three times. Or, you can eat it as many as you can. Especially if you have it. Okay? Another is ginger. Ginger also has an antiviral property. Turmeric. Yan. Echinacea. Oregano. And my favorite, honey and cinnamon. So, whenever my children have a viral infection, especially here right now in the U.S. because it's the flu season. Yes. Okay, so when you have the flu season, everyone is coughing. Okay, kasi malamig. <laughs> so, what, what usually happens is that they would come, come from school, my children, and then they would be coughing. So, the ones that I usually give them is honey and cinnamon. So, these are some of the herbs that you can use to enhance your immunity as well. So they have also anti-inflammatory, mm -hmm. immune-enhancing <clears throat> properties, and also antimicrobial properties. So, pwede nyo siyang gawin, okay? And again, you can use mega-dose vitamin C. Correct, because obviously yeah. vitamin C has been uh, demonstrated uh, to significantly immunomodulate your immune system. So. Yes, so you can take it one teaspoon, okay? But if you're feeling sassy, you know. Go higher. <laughs> you can go higher, which is one it's tablespoon once a day. It's up to you. The problem is you will have diarrhea. That's the side effect of the mega dose vitamin C. One of the, but one of the best uh, yeah, basically just, you things know, that you can do. It's a bowel tolerance. You know? Yeah. Just, so th those are very simple. And another one is Boston C, okay? Yeah. They see so, it backwards too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so Boston C can also help you one teaspoon three times a day. Again, to uh, reiterate, you can use herbs, uh, Boston C, and mega dose vitamin C. Those are the things that uh, you can uh, use right now or you can drink to protect yourself. You have to eat nutritious food. So kumain ho kayo ng mga pagkain na that is proven to enhance your immune system because mm -hmm. you are what you eat and what you absorb, okay? So that's 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 really the the um, the rule in all the eating. So kung kumakain ho kayo ng pagkain na junk foods, o di ba? How can it enhance your immunity? So, how can it protect you? So, you have to eat foods that are rich in proteins. Yeah, kain po kayo ng itlog. Yan. Um, you can also eat uh, mushroom. Yeah, that's my favorite. Mushroom. Lentils. Yan. So, these are proteins. And also meat. Okay. Mas maganda is organic. Organic. Organic meat. Yeah, that's the, the best. You can also eat foods that are rich in vitamin C again. So, chili. <laughs> Sile. Yan. Lalo na ako, mahilig ako sa sile. Yeah. So, Jack, I, I just, um, because I'm pregnant, so I'm, I'm yeah, trying Yeah, isn't that eat, awesome? I'm trying to eat a lot of sile right now. Nagkakaroon po ako ng cravings with the sile. And sile has a high vitamin C content, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, one of the best things that uh, that you can uh, take in well, pagka, pagka meron ho kayong uh, problems. Also with... A garlic, onions, mm -hmm. yan. So basil, thyme, all of these herbs, they can actually help you uh, to enhance your immune system. Yan. Tea, yan. Kung mahilig po kayo sa tea, so the teas can help you also. Me, my favorite tea is uh, black tea. 
black tea. Also, green tea as well. Mm -hmm. So, yung mga yan. Meron po mga properties that it can help you. Mga gulay, of course. Diba? So, alam na natin yan. And then, exercise. So, if you exercise, you increase your uh, lymphatic uh, system. So, your lymphatic mm -hmm. flow. Lymphatic flow is uh, better if you have, uh, if you exercise. So, do not forget to exercise as well. These small things, uh, you think they are insignificant, but they really have a big impact on our body. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, you, you know, you, these are the most important thing. And again, I want to reiterate about cleanliness. Correct. Yan. So, maligo. <laughs> some of them, because some of them, they don't take a bath. So, here you have to take a bath, okay? Yeah, I mean, really, cleanliness. Go through, go through the steps again, very briefly again, Mom. Mm -hmm. Some of the things that people can do to prevent, okay. uh, you know, potential infection, help prevent it. Okay. So, again, to... Um, um, to summarize, so you can use herbs, okay, these are garlic, ginger, turmeric, oregano, honey, and lemon. They have antiviral properties, mega dose vitamin C, Boston C. Some practical tips is if you're sick, you isolate yourself, do not go on crowded areas, malls, parties, etc. You have to wear a mask, okay, so... Um, I'm not gonna say what type of uh, mask, okay? Just make sure that it's properly covered. The and nose, the most important is the nose, the mouth, and the eyes. They're properly covered. Because I told you there are some research that says that the virus can also go inside the mouth, uh, the eyes. Mm -hmm. So, very important. And you have to wash your hands. Well, again, wash them well. Using soap and water. Do not kiss, hug, or anything that is a uh, hug kiss anyone who is sick if you're out in public have, avoid touching your eyes and yeah. face so you have coughing etiquette so how do you cough again you cough how sir jack mm, like okay. this or into a tissue mm -mm. you have to eat nutritious food and you have to cook your food properly so relax don't panic relax don't, don't panic, panic. <laughs> So those are the things, and I hope that you enjoyed the, our discussion again of the novel coronavirus, okay? Just in case that you will be one day, hopefully, wag naman, so you will encounter a novel coronavirus, just uh, stay away from them, yeah. Yes, so garlic is one of the most researched herbs out there, and I think it's uh, a lot of literature has been written about garlic. And if I'm not mistaken, it's actually around 500 or more that I have right now, that I'm reading right now, literature regarding garlic. Mm -hmm. And garlic has been uh, prized and treasured because of its anti-neoplastic, it means anti-cancer property, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antimicrobial, antiviral anti-mycotic, anti-fungal, whatever it is. And it can also be anti-people. Yes. If, if there's someone you don't like, uh, just eat a lot of garlic and <laughs> or an, they'll, they'll breathe on them. Or <laughs> anti what it is? Anti, um, it's an anti-vampiric. Vam vampire. <laughs> Vampires <laughs> don't like <laughs> So it's, it's very amazing. And this is attributed to a compound known as alicine. Okay? It's a, it's a sulfur-containing compound. Uh, that made it so amazing and uh, it has a lot of effect effect in our body katulad dun ang sinabi ko sa right, inyo the Mediterranean yes diet. and it also uh, on top of what I said it's also good for um, for antiplatelets okay lalo na po yung dun sa mga tao na umiinom po ng uh, aspirin okay and uh, anti-cholesterol limit drugs if you're still taking statins so you can take it as a substitute, okay, if you want. Okay, so that's how important garlic is. And it's one of the best thing that you can take um, every day if you're very, very conscious that you're gonna get sick, okay. Mm -hmm. And there are also some research that says that it decreases the incidence of developing stomach cancer, mm -hmm. colorectal cancer, and even bladder cancer. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, one of the things that you can take garlic. Okay. Another is of course ginger. So you can take ginger if you don't want if you want to protect yourself also with a lot of viruses. 
<laughs> so uh, ginger, ginger, ginger is as awesome as garlic. Yes. Okay. So because I think most of the herbs they share a same component, which is most of them they are anti-inflammatory. Correct. So with the ginger, the active component is a ginger root, so it's an alcohol, mm -hmm. and this is again like the garlic. It has an anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, um, anti. Um, Neo, anti neoplastic like what I said and it also has an antibiotic antimicrobial property so you can always you know um, mix them up pwede nyo po sinang pagsamahin and then and then you can put them in water you boil them and you drink